It's World Shakespeare Day and what would have been the Bard's 448th birthday. Ivan Heng is the artistic director of Wild Rice, one of Singapore's best-known theatre groups, which is currently staging Romeo and Juliet. So what is it about Ng, the English playwright, that makes him so enduringly popular in Asia and elsewhere? Well, Ivan, perhaps you'd be in a much better position to answer that because, uh, as we mentioned there, you are staging Romeo and Juliet. So what's been the reception here in Singapore to that play? Well, um, it's been a very visceral reaction, actually. I mean, you see audiences, you know, laughing out loud, and you know, at the end of it, they go away sobbing in the dark. So I think they actually feel close to this play. Um, I think that the, the the story of the young lovers is a perennial, timeless classic, and it's been a very rewarding experience trying to make it um, speak to our audiences here. And as you say, the audiences here are Singaporean. Uh, of course, Shakespeare remains popular throughout Asia. So yeah. what is it about his plots that uh, make them sort of transcend these cultural barriers? Well, I think certainly in the case of Romeo and Juliet, anyone who has felt as a teenager that the world is conspiring against them to limit their choices will That's be right. able to identify Romeo and Juliet. Um, in working on the play, I think what we actually looked at was relationships you know, uh, apart from the flush of first love, the impulsiveness of that, the passion, the fire. I think, you know, there are many relationships there in, in the play which we all can relate to. The idea of parents and children, uh, certainly in the case of Romeo, uh, of Romeo and his father, you know, and his parents, they don't get along. You know, right. dad is complaining about him. You know, he comes home at 5 a.m. in the morning and makes himself an artificial night. And in the case of Juliet, you know, she's, she's the proverbial bird in a gilded cage, you know, um, with overprotective over parents. Right, right. Yeah. And it's not just Romeo and Juliet. I mean, we've got Twelfth Night, so that's about to be performed here. We've got a version of King Lear yes. as well yes. out uh, next month. So it does seem that that's an awful lot of Shakespeare for quite yes. a small country. Yeah. We've seen his plays performed in lots of other languages, in Mandarin, for instance. Yeah. So it is about the plots, isn't it, that they do uh, transcend, they, ad they adapt to many cultures. Yes. Well, the, the interesting thing about Singapore is that um, our lingua franca is English. So that's one thing. And, and because it is English, uh, and because many of us study it in secondary schools as literature, there's already access to it. But to hear these words spoken in, in, in their own right actually kind of um, touch your heart and kind of move you in a way that is profound, and you can't really explain it except in the kind of theatrical encounter. But yes, I think that Shakespeare is wonderful because he really understood the human condition. Um, in the case of Romeo and Juliet, he puts these characters in extreme conditions to ask us questions about being human and, and about love. And do you think love. as a theatre director, uh, very briefly, that it's important to localise your production, to uh, put in some element of the Asian in it to appeal to the audience? I think the one thing that I did was to cast an all Singaporean company. So we got 20 people on stage who are all Singaporeans. Mm -hmm. But Singapore in itself is very, very diverse. And so you have a whole diversity of Singaporean accents. Mm -hmm. um, and then we took it moment for moment, telling, uh, you know, creating a Verona, which right. we recognize as our own. Mm -hmm. So it's an, Verona is an affluent city, which is rigid which can be judgmental, which is aggress aggressively patriarchal. Right. That's a bit like Singapore. All right, well, yeah. we'll leave it on that note. Yeah. Ivan Heng there from Wild Rice. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. that. Thank you. Now, you've been watching Newsday from the BBC. I'm Sharon Jeet Lail in Singapore. And I'm Adan Nawaz in London. Thanks very much indeed for your company. Do take care. Bye-bye.